We're going to talk about one other article today before I have to cut out uh, this morning. We're meeting some good friends out at the vineyard today, and uh, we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a van, a fantastic time. I, you know, when I started this show off this morning, I talked about all the successes of my Patreons and my coaching clients this week. I named off a whole bunch of them, right? Well, um, I'm going to pat myself on the back right now for hitting my sales quota before the end of our second quarter. I'm going to pat myself on the back for hitting my sales quota before the end of the quarter, second quarter. Our second quarter ends August 31st. I've already hit my sales quota last night. I closed a big deal last night, yesterday, that put me over my sales target. So everything that I'm going to close for the rest of the year is going to be an enormous bump in pay. Guys, you know the numbers that we're doing over here because I've been open to share that with you. Well, this year, I'm looking to basically double that. So we're talking about a salary or, you know, um, w- w- W2 wages of uh, a million, right? That's what we can do this year. And that's what my goal is this year as well. So I'm going to pat myself on the back for getting that deal done. Last night, we celebrated Miss Wade, myself, and the two kids. We went out to McAdoo's here in New Braunfels, nice state or not state, but nice seafood joint. Uh, had a bottle of wine, and I told you guys, my patrons, I wasn't going to buy a bottle of wine, but anytime you separate, you celebrate success, anytime you have success, you should celebrate success. And I went against everything that I said I was going to do <laughs> and bought a $100 bottle of wine because that's how I enjoy myself, and I think I deserve it because I hit a major accomplishment. So, I'm patting myself on the back for this one, guys, and uh, I wanted to share that with you. But, um, yeah, I, I it, it's, it's been a tremendous year this year. It's been a busy year, but it's been a tremendous year in my professional and my business at Black Heights, guys. So thank you guys for all the support. I'm burning the midnight oil. I'm working harder than I've ever have. I show up um, sometimes, you know, with working hard. Sometimes you got to listen to your body and so forth. And that's what I had to do last Saturday. I had to listen to my body because of, you know, when you're working hard, there's times your body says you need to, need to slow down. And I am a person that listens to my body. And it told me that I needed to slow down last week. So either way, I've had a lot of success this week and I'm very proud of it. And um, I was able to celebrate that with the family last night and more than likely, we're going to be continue the celebration today. So shout out to myself for the success of hitting my yearly targets before the end of the second quarter of this year. All right. Um, let's talk about Shopify. No, 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 no. We're not even going to go there. I don't want to talk about layoffs anymore. We're going to talk about mentorship, guys, because... Many of us need this. Many of us need mentors. This platform provides many of you the ability to hear from somebody who's learning every single day in his professional life and being able to share that information on a weekly basis with individuals who are on their path as well. And for many of you, I'm like a mentor. And for many of you, I am your mentor. We need mentors. I have them. You need them. You need them. You need them. Many of you don't know how to find them. Many of you don't know where to start. Here's an article that I thought was very important so that you can find the right mentor to help you in your life or in your career. And... This is leveraging people who are at or was at the top of their career when they were in their career. So let's get to this article, guys. How to find a mentor in a workplace who will help your career. According to KPMG's Laura Nowinski, 
as well as Condoleezza Rice. And many of you know who that is. KPMG's Eight Women's Leadership Summit focused on female business leaders. Laura Nowinski and Condoleezza Rice, a former Secretary of State, spoke on mentorship. One of the top three reasons HR professionals implement mentorship or coaching programs at the organization is to create a more diverse workforce. And this is based on a study by the Human Resources Insights Platform HR Research Institute found. And this is one of the reasons KPMG sought to bring together business women on the path to the C-suite at its eighth annual Women's Leadership Summit in June. And speakers such as Condoleezza Rice and former Secretary of State, or a former Secretary of State, and Laura Nowinski, the CEO of KPMG, one of the largest consulting firms that exists out there, uh, discussed the importance of mentors and how to find one. Mentors are more or were integral in Rice's and Nowinski's career success, they said. Rice, a black government official, and Nowinski, a woman in a high-profile role, were surrounded by colleagues who didn't look like them. Still, the pair found people who shared their career goals and were willing to guide them, they said. The mentors they recruited helped them shatter glass ceilings in their fields and grow their careers. Guys, I'm going to tell you like this. It's important to find mentors in the companies that you're working for. It's important to find mentors outside of the companies that you're working for. But if you are somebody who is career-driven, let me do something. I didn't have the article up. My apologies. Um, if you are somebody who is career-driven, you want to climb the ladder, you want to get to the bag, you want to have ample opportunities within your career to make career moves and be in power positions, you need a mentor. And that's what these ladies are saying. They recruited mentors that helped them shatter glass ceilings. Many of us are people of, you know, uh, brown skin tone or, you know, um, whatever, backgrounds, right? You, we don't see a lot of people in positions in companies that we work for because there's just not that many in those positions. That shouldn't stop you from seeking mentors because there are mentors that you can seek that will help to give you clarity on how you can hit and remove those glass ceilings if they exist for you in your career. I am somebody who has a few mentors in the professional in my professional career. And I can tell you this right now. I had a really good relationship with my mentor, then a good relationship, but a bit of an awkward relationship with my mentor because of phases that he was going through and transitioning into the business. But my relationship with my mentor is probably the best that it's ever been today. And that's because we're working closer together. He was part of this deal that I got close. He's seeing how hard I work and so forth and seeing the success that I have. And he's given me the ability to do basically whatever role I want to within the company that I work for. And whenever Antoine's name comes up, he is speaking on behalf of me when I'm not in those rooms. And anytime I want to make a career move, I don't have and face roadblocks because I have somebody who admires the work that I do, admires the work that I do on Saturdays like today, and wants to see me grow. And I will tell you guys this, um, he isn't the same skin tone as me. He isn't the same, doesn't have the same background as me. It doesn't matter that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is you being responsible for your career and recruiting people. You recruit people by building relationships with others that you have something in common with, somebody who shares the career ambitions as yourself, career goals, and so forth. You recruit them to be your mentor. This is a relationship that you are responsible for building, not anybody else. Don't go ask your manager for a mentor. 
It's not your manager's responsibility for you or for them to find a mentor for you. It's your responsibility to seek mentorship. The mentors they recruited helped them shatter the glass ceilings in their feuds and grow their careers. Here's how Rice and the Whiskey found their mentors, what they looked for and the advice they gave to women looking for similar professional relationships. And guys, this is the exact same for you. The demographics of the workforce are changing for the better with more women, more people of color, more blacks rising through the ranks in the workforce every single day. But that doesn't mean that women should wait to find a female mentor. I believe in situational mentors, the whiskey said. Situational mentor is when a mentee turns to an expert for advice on a specific task or a topic, and it's normally short term. Kathy Winworth, the CEO of the Mark of Workplace Training Program, the Training Connection, wrote on LinkedIn. But the Wednesday situation of mentors have been lifelong coaches. I've had a couple of very long term mentors who were people that I turned to for help figuring something out. And in my case, one of them was a man. She's a woman. She found men that helped her as well. Nowitzki sought this mentor because he had already been through steps in his career and life that she was about to embark on, including balancing raising children and a demanding career. For example, Nowitzki and her husband were deciding whose career needed to take a priority. And her mentor had already navigated that process with her spouse. Guys, this is not just professional career or advice, professional career advice. This is also personal career advice where you may need mentorship because you see somebody has already done this before. You may be a husband or a wife. You may be the breadwinner. Your husband may not be, or you may be the breadwinner as a male and your wife may not be. Both of you guys may be working. When you get to a point where you guys are deciding to have children, whose career is going to be the priority? That's a conversation that you guys need to think about. And why not seek people who've gone through this before, like myself, like others who are in the corporations or companies that you work for, others that you know, versus you doing it blind. That's a tough conversation. It's a very tough conversation and an un it could be a very difficult conversation as well. Why not get expertise, advice from people who's gone and done that before? So, um, Nowitzki sought this mentorship or this mentor because he's already been through these steps in his career. Nowitzki and her husband were deciding whose career to take a priority and so forth. And sometimes it's just about working with what's available. Rice didn't have a lot of options when it came to finding someone who shared her life experiences or identity. Right? Your mentors don't always look like you, Rice said. My mentors were actually white men or old white men because those were the people who dominated my field. Seek mentors who tell you the truth. Outside of finding a mentor who shares your career and life paths, Nowinski said it's important to find a mentor who will be honest with you guys. For example, if you believe you excel at a particular task, make sure to get your mentor's truthful input, she said. Nowinski uses her, her mentors as a filter and asks them to help her answer questions like these. What do I think that I'm good at, but I'm not that good at? And what am I actually good at? That is a very good question to ask somebody who is your mentor, who has the ability to watch you perform or see you within your career. Ask a question such as, what do I think I'm good at? But what, what do I think I'm good at, but I'm not good at? And if your mentor can a- answer that for you truthfully, that's a good mentor. That's a really good mentor, right? Because you want that honest feedback. Many of us walking around think that our stuff doesn't stink. We think that we're so good at it. We think that we're so much smarter than others in it. And quite honest, 
Some people will think the opposite. So ask those tough questions. Look for a way to reflect and receive advice from individuals who you trust, and that's going to give you direct and honest feedback. And that's what a mentor can do, a good mentor. And ask the question, and what am I actually good at? If I was to ask my mentor that today, he would give me those answers. He's given me ugly feedback before, um, hurtful feedback before. And I'm good with that because it gives me the ability to really reflect and focus my attention on areas where I can improve. So you want to find mentors that will do the exact same thing for you as well. The importance of having someone who will tell you the truth and who will guide you cannot be underestimated, Rice and Nowinski agreed. I'm a great believer that mentors make a huge difference in your life, Rice said. The important thing is to find people who will advocate for you and who will take an interest into you. And these are people, again, that you need to recruit. It's about those relationships. You need to recruit these individuals. Seek individuals who are on your career path, alongside your career path or your life path to provide that mentorship for you. We have a lot of people in our Patreon, over 84 professionals who can be mentors for you. Become part of the community. Join the Patreon. If you're looking for a mentorship session to see if I'm the right mentor for you, book a coaching session. We can see if I'm the right fit for you. At the end of the day, it's you seeking mentors and you putting yourself in a position to find mentors. Okay? Okay.